the subtle art of not giving a fuck, a counterintuitive approach to living a good life unabridged. By Mark Manson, narrated by Roger Wayne, length, 5 hours and 30 minutes, release 8, 0913-16. This book is strange. It should be required reading, but at the same time doesn't really have many new ideas. Why should everyone read it then? While none of the ideas are new or really more than common sense. The way they are put forward is pretty unique. As harsh and uncaring as the title may make it sound. It really isn't a book for the friendly neighborhood nihilist. What? What do you mean you don't have a neighborhood nihilist? I bet you do but they just haven't introduced themselves. They tend to stay at home and bake pies, real humbuddies. Now where was I? Onionism got it. As harsh as the title may sound this book is not trying to get you to not give a fuck. What it really is trying to do, is to help you spend your fucks wisely. So like a idiot's guide to fuck budgeting. And like I said it's not anything you haven't heard before, but the no-nonsense way it is presented is completely unique. Here is the introduction and I feel it explains this book pretty fucking well. Now, while not giving a fuck may seem simple on the surface, it's a whole new bag of burritos under the hood. I don't even know what that sentence means, but I don't give a fuck. A bag of burritos sounds awesome, so let's just go with it. The point is. Most of us struggle throughout our lives by giving too many fucks in situations where fucks do not deserve to be given. We give a fuck about the rude gas station attendant who gave us too many nickels. We give a fuck when a show we liked was cancelled on TV. We give a fuck when our co-workers don't bother asking us about our awesome weekend. We give a fuck when it's raining and we were supposed to go jogging in the morning. Fucks given everywhere. Strewn about like seeds in motherfucking springtime. And for what purpose? For what reason? Convenience? Easy comforts? A pat on the fucking back maybe. This is the problem, my friend. Because when we give too many fucks, when we choose to give a fuck about everything, then we feel as though we are perpetually entitled to feel comfortable and happy at all times, that's when life fucks us. Indeed, the ability to reserve our fucks for only the most fuckworthy of situations would surely make life a hell of a lot easier. Failure would be less terrifying. Rejection less painful. And pleasant necessities more pleasant, and the unsavory shit sandwiches a little bit more savory. I mean, if we could only give a few less fucks, or a few more consciously directed fucks, then life would feel pretty fucking easy. What we don't realize is that there is a fine art of non-fuck giving. People aren't just born not giving a fuck. In fact, we're born giving way too many fucks. Ever watch a kid cry his eyes out because his hat is the wrong shade of blue? Exactly. Fuck that kid. Developing the ability to control and manage the fucks you give is the essence of strength and integrity. We must craft and hone our lack of fuckery over the course of years and decades. Like a fine wine, our fucks must age into a fine vintage. Only uncorked and given on the most special fucking occasions. This may sound easy. But it is not. Most of us, most of the time, get sucked in by life's mean trivialities, steamrolled by its unimportant dramas. We live and die by the side notes and distractions and vicissitudes that suck the fucks out of us like Sasha Gray in the middle of a gangbang. This is no way to live, man. So stop fucking around. Get your fucks together. And here, allow me to fucking show you. Well. Sounds pretty fucking good don't it? 
See right there that's not proper grammar, but I don't give a fuck. Okay I lied I do give a fuck about proper grammar, but I digress. This book helps you manage the amount of fucks you give and what and whom you give them to. Because if you give all your fucks away to Steve, the idiot you work with, you may be too fucking tired and low on fucks to listen about your kid's bad day at school. The part about relationships was really good I think this book is worth it for that chapter alone. Final fucking thoughts personally I didn't learn much from this book. I have been spending my fucks wisely for a while now. Even so it was a good read that I recommend to everyone. And to those that may be offended by all of the fucks in this review and in the fucking book, you my friends are the ones that need to read this book the most. So don't save all your fucks. Just be fuck frugal. Because if you spend all your fucks on stupid fucks you're fucked. I give the subtle art of not giving a fuck 4.5 fucking stars out of 5. Well this has been a fun little experiment. I know the voice is a bit fucked up but limits of the program and all. Besides what do you expect a fucking goblin to sound like? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. If enough of you guys like it. I may start doing one of these as I add on to my regular reviews. I just thought this would be a fun fucking review to try it out on. Have a great fucking day, my friends. Be excellent to each other and all that other crap. I actually like this voice much better still a bit robotic, but what you going to do, right? Well what I am not going to do is spend a few hundred dollars to buy a new version of this program with better voices. But I can use a free text to speech thing online to create mp3s and use those files. Speaking of that, if anyone would like to hear a goblin say anything in your voice send me a mps file and I'll animate it for you.